God sent an angel to talk to Joseph in a dream. The angel said, Do not be afraid to take Mary to be your wife. The Holy Ghost has come upon her, and she shall have a son, and you shall call his name Jesus, for he shall save his people from their sins. After talking to the angel, Joseph was all excited about the birth of baby Jesus. About this time, some Roman soldiers came into the town of Nazareth. I have a decree from the emperor of Rome, shouted a soldier. Everyone must return to and enroll in the towns or cities from which his family had come. Joseph was not very happy about that. Joseph wasn't very happy about the news when he told Mary. The government wants us to pay more taxes, he said, and I'm worried about you because you're soon to have a baby. But Joseph knew he had to obey. We'll have to travel to Bethlehem at once, Joseph told Mary. But how can I go, said Mary. What will happen to our baby? He's too to be born any day. I know, said Joseph. And when I think we have to travel all those miles to go to Bethlehem, I worry, but we must go. We will put our trust in God then, said Mary. He will be with us. And soon they were on their way to Bethlehem. Mile after mile they traveled. How often Joseph must have thought, if only this donkey would go faster. One day, two days, three days went past. How much farther, asked Mary. I'm so tired. It's not much farther, said Joseph. I can see the lights of Bethlehem now. Soon they arrived in Bethlehem. Joseph led the donkey down a narrow street to an inn. Joseph knocked on the door of the inn. The innkeeper opened the door and almost closed it immediately. Please, said Joseph, do you have any room? We are full. We haven't room for any more people, the innkeeper said. Then he looked at Mary's sad and tired face. He could see she was going to have a baby. Well, there is room in the stable, he said. At least it's warm and dry. The stable, Mary must have thought. The Son of God cannot be born in a stable. Joseph knew Mary was disappointed. Very gently he took her hand and he led Mary to the stable. In the darkness, Mary saw a manger filled with hay. This will do for her cradle, she said. The hay is clean and smells fresh, said Joseph, trying to sound encouraging. I'm glad I brought the swaddling clothes to wrap the baby in, Mary said. That evening, there was no one important to welcome the baby. Only mooing cows, braying donkeys, neighing horses, and cooing doves. In the midst of their friendly welcome, the Son of God was born. To think that the world little cared that the greatest event in all history had just taken place. The Son of God had left heaven to be born on earth in a stable, to become the Savior for all mankind. Each time we hear the story of Jesus' birth, remember what he did for us and that he was willing to be born in a humble stable to free us from our sins.